With thousands of people every day in Indiana getting that positive diagnosis, the need is more urgent than ever to help them recover fully and more quickly. January marks National Blood Donor Month, and those at the American Red Cross and Versity say now more than ever is the time to donate. Nikki Dementri is working for you tonight. There is always something we can do to help those that we don't know. Hope is more than just a word on Kristen Marlowe's wall. Hope is my word. It's, um, it's, it's something that I can always hold on to. Hope is the reason she has pledged to continue donating convalescent plasma to help those battling coronavirus after she was diagnosed with the disease last spring. Hoosiers helping Hoosiers, I feel that that's my job um, and I feel that's my role and responsibility. So as long as I have antibodies um, to give, I'll give them. February will mark her third donation of plasma and now platelets too. And while Marlo has the unique perspective of also working as an executive director for the American Red Cross, she says it's personal when it comes to helping her fellow Hoosiers as she currently has a family member in the ICU fighting COVID. When I first donated my convalescent plasma, Back in July, I got a notice from the Red Cross that let me know that my convalescent plasma donation was sent down to IU Methodist. It is unfortunate, but our family member um, is actually an IU Methodist. And for me to know that while my convalescent plasma didn't go to that family member, um, you know, what I did up here in Northwest Indiana can help any Hoosier across the state. According to the Red Cross, there is a national shortage of convalescent plasma. The nonprofit notes a 250% increase in, quote, hospital distributions. It's thought one blood donation can help up to three lives. The process of donating convalescent plasma, according to Marlowe, is as simple as donating blood, but just takes a little longer to do. She and others urge any and all Hoosiers eligible to donate donate blood, platelets, and plasma to do so now. As vaccinations roll out, the FDA has not cleared people that have been vaccinated to donate convalescent plasma. So we're going to lose some of the current donors that we have. So we continually need new donors that are, have recovered from COVID. Penny Schroeder with Versity says the area needs an average of 600 units of blood daily, which has proven difficult at times. Some days yes, some days no. Right. We do uh, a lot of blood drives in the area. We put uh, messages out on social media right now coming out of the holiday. Our inventory is tight, so we would love to see folks come into one of our centers to donate. Working for you, Nikki Dementri, WRTV. In an effort to get more donors, the American Red Cross and NFL are partnering this month and will be giving away two tickets to next year's Super Bowl in Los Angeles. Those who donate blood or plasma this month with the American Red Cross are automatically entered in the drawing.